Hey, welcome to this morning's morning sprint, getting our entrepreneurial day started off with purpose, meaning, and passion. We're here on our cultural trail here in Indianapolis. We're, we're running, getting the blood flowing through our veins, and starting our day out with our workout as usual. So today we're talking about our baggage. Failing to let go of our past will hinder our future. Look. We all have a past. I have a past. You have a past. We all have a past. We all have some things that we may not be the most proud of. But what is holding on to that do as far as our businesses? Why not just, hey, forget the past, move on. And yes, and if you've truly reconciled with the, the past, awesome. Yes, and you can definitely forgive and forget. But a lot of us, we're carrying that baggage with us. Like when I run, and I, and I weigh just five more pounds. I got five more pounds of baggage, inflammation or body fat or whatever it might be. My run is a lot harder. So that's the first thing. We're gonna talk about three ways that if we don't address our past, it hinders our future. Number one is it slows us down. When we constantly have this extra baggage, when we got this extra weight carry, uh, carrying around our shoulders, we can't get to our goals. We can't get to our objectives as fast as we need to. Okay, so that would be number one. Number two is it makes us less resilient. I like that. So we're less resilient because here's the thing. It's hard dealing with our past. It's hard dealing with, as my wife would say, our ish. <laughs> she calls it, we all have ish. You know, and when we deal with our ish, we become better when we go to that therapy or we go to that counseling or whatever, whatever it is that we're holding on to in the past, we become a stronger human being. We don't become any stronger by, by coddling it up, ignoring it. Oh, it never happened. You know, I'll get over it. Time heals all wounds. So that's number two is we want to become more resilient. Number three, and this is a big one. When we don't deal with our past, it affects our ability to lead. It affects our influence. Why? Because we don't come off authentic. When we say and we stand up and we're like, you know what, I'm dealing with this ish. I'm going through this. People are like, oh my gosh. They, they take you down from that pedestal that you don't want them to put you up to because if you're into leadership, if you're an influencer, you don't want to be on this huge pedestal that's unobtainable. People don't want to follow that. They wanna follow the people that are genuine, the people that are authentic. And when you put it out there and you say, hey, I am going through this. I've had some issues in my past. I'm working through it. You're taking actions. You're growing forward. There's nothing more attractive to people that want your influence, to your followers, than you growing out of something. You saying, you know what? You've got a past. Guess what? I've got a past. But this is what I'm doing about it. I'm growing out of this past right now. Hey, why don't you join me? then now you, they have something to follow. You know, when we just stay on that pedestal and we keep our past in the past, we're like, oh, everything's great. They have nothing to follow. Lead your influencers. All right, you have a great growth-driven rest of your day. Let's make this happen.